Hello, my name is Jacqueline Fleming, and I stand before you as a mother, a daughter, a sister, a niece, a granddaughter, a friend, a college graduate, a medical sales professional, and as a woman who is proud to be in recovery from opiate addiction. I personally faced the death grip of the opiate epi epidemic and barely escaped from being another number associated with this alarmingly high and growing statistic. My hope today is that by sharing my story with the public, we can continue to raise awareness and change the stigma associated with addiction. Addiction impacts people of all cultural backgrounds. It does not discriminate. Knowledge is power, and I hope that I am able to provide some more insight through my personal experience and struggle. <clears throat> I have been in recovery from opiate addiction since October 31st of 2018. I am days away from accomplishing my first year in recovery and complete abstinence from all mind and mood altering substances. It has not been an easy journey for me to arrive at this point in my life. Prior to my complete desire and willingness and surrender to the concept that I had a problem and I needed help, I survived a total of 18 Narcan overdoses <clears throat> requiring Narcan assistance. In one day alone, I overdosed twice being brought to the hospital by ambulance, only to walk out against medical advice both times due to heavy drug-induced impairment. The second time I left the hospital, I was crossing the street and, and struck by a truck while, as a pedestrian. This incident required a 21-day stay at shock trauma where I arrived with life-threatening injuries and underwent back-to-back back -back emergency surgeries to save my life. These three events that occurred in one single day did not result in the conclusion of my drug use. Unfortunately, living in extreme pain and fear of my hard recovery that lied ahead, combined with PTSD and emotional difficulties I now faced as a mother, it only fueled my drug use and catapulted the numerous overdoses to come. The disease of addiction is chronic, progressive, and fatal. I believe there's so many moving pieces to the puzzle that are constantly shifting and extremely complicated. Why some of us make it out of the despair and others succumb to the inevitable outcome addiction will result in, I may never have all the answers to. But what I do know is that this disease catastrophically affects each person emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally. There are many resources that are equally important and necessary in order for an addict seeking recovery. I can personally say that Narcan was a tool that helped save my life, and I'm beyond grateful for its invention. Through a past role in my career, I had the opportunity to meet the inventor of naloxone, other known as, also known as Narcan. And during our conversation, he mentioned his goal was to save lives medically with the introduction of this drug. Little did he know at the time that I would end up being one of those lives he saved 18 on 18 separate incidences. Without this invention and tool, even more lives would be lost. The overdose statistic would be even higher and more horrific. However, there are so many other tools required in order to pave the road for an addict to successfully achieve recovery. There are so many challenges an addict must personally face. Raising awareness and working together collectively as a community should be of the highest priority. Providing mental health resources, support groups, having cohesion within the medical community to ensure proper standard of care should also be mentioned. Having a better understanding of the care required and all of the moving parts surrounding addiction and this epidemic should be gravely considered. Every moving part is equally significant and important to a recovering addict. I agree that an addict must be courageous and be willing to stand up and do whatever it takes to fight for their life. However, I also believe that with more education, understanding, resources and tools available like Narcan, and coming together as a community to raise awareness and support those suffering from addiction, we can make an impact and fight this epidemic. As I mentioned, there are several tools and additional resources an addict seeking recovery would benefit, would benefit from being provided. Since, ad since addiction is a complex disease with so many variables that can impact each person individually, long-term treatment and recovery support is necessary. There are things that can be done at each possible interventional phase that can potentially result in successful outcome. For instance, being able to provide crisis beds for an addict who is brought to the hospital on an overdose and is willing to seek treatment would be an, a safe next phase for them. These crisis beds could provide an opportunity for the addict to not return to the same environment that was enabling those destructive behaviors. It is a big window of opportunity for possible relapse prevention. Once an addict has completed treatment and is looking to continue down the road, of recovery. Offering assistance to these individuals in areas like life coaching can be done through organizations like Tree of Hope, and they offer peer support, social networking, recovery events, and individual case management, among many other resources. A center possibly to house and provide these resources to these addicts for, through an organization like Tree of Hope to utilize would be highly influential and, and it, would, it would greatly impact the recovery community. 
those are just a few ideas and things that I've uncovered like through my, you know, crossing my journey and, and reflecting on maybe what could have saved my life at times. I, you know, again, it's, it's, so, it's such a complex disease and the windows of opportunity for an addict to seek help and for the seed to get planted can vary. You know, circumstance to circumstance, it's not black and white. Um, you know, but with all of that, with, through my story and my journey and all the struggles and the overdoses, you know, it, it takes what it takes. Um, I'm grateful it took for me. And I'm beyond humbled and, and proud to be up here, to be the voice for so many of those addicts that didn't get the opportunity to do so. My life today and the perspective in which I live it will forever be changed. The woman I am today and my story will always be something that I'm proud of and I own it because it's mine. Thank you for allowing my voice to be heard. <clears throat>